Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling? Fine. Just visiting my cousin. She's okay? Yes, we're all hopeful. You got a minute? I think we should discuss a proposal. Mr. Manning, I'm so sorry. I don't have the time or the carving knife to deal with you right you now. You know, as the man responsible for keeping you out of prison, that hurts me. It stings. I think we should put the unfortunate past behind us. I say we look toward the future. I say you and I partner up. Huh? Excuse me? Yeah. A Manning-Howard alliance. How's that sound? Unthinkable. Goodbye. You know... Kate, will you at least think about it? Because it'd be great for so many people. You want an alliance with me? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You're certifiably wacko. I'm a little out of my treat. We're already practically a buddy movie. Hey, I'll be Nick Nolte. You be Eddie Murphy. You know what I think, Todd? I think you dropped a little too much of Heather Weber's acid. And I don't want any part of your scheme du jour. Okay, so you don't want any part of Crimson, I guess, because I'd put you on the board at Manning Enterprises. I'd put you behind the helm of your elegantly shallow fashion magazine. Well, you suspended publication. I'll resuscitate You said it didn't make any money. Well, I'm a sucker for lost causes. Look at me talking to you. Right. Which is confusing to me. Why not go with, uh, Lucy Coe? Never heard of her. Erica Kane. Never heard of her. Blair Kramer. Definitely never heard of her. Well, they are fabulous magazine publishers. And they didn't rob you of your granddaughter. Why would you want to work with someone who caused your family so much pain? Well, maybe you didn't. Maybe you're innocent. He was not innocent? How? Because it's Connie's fault those kids are dead? She's still a part of me. You see, this is what I don't understand. Because what little I know about DID completely contradicts what you're telling me happened to you. I'm not going to talk about my integration with you, Todd. Integration? Great. So you remember shooting out Anthony Zakar's tires? I have almost recovered the memory of the night. I'm working on it with my psychiatrist. Okay, well, if your psychiatrist is telling you that you're responsible for two deaths that you don't even remember causing, you need to fire that quack and hire yourself another shrink. Of course. Bother you? That after all the therapy, all the tearful confessions, all the talking, that you don't remember the worst and therefore most memorable thing that Connie ever did. What are you saying, Todd? Are you saying that Connie still exists? Oh, Connie absolutely exists. I know it. Mr. Manning, by all means, please explain to me how you know what's going on in my head better than I do. Okay. Please do. Integration, by definition, means that you and your alters become one. That means all of their memories become your memories. It doesn't make any sense to me at all that there'd be one or two memories out there that haven't resurfaced. I'm still here. Why don't you remember causing the accident? Why would your subconscious keep something like that from you? More to the point, why would Connie keep something like that from you? Why don't you tell me? Wow. I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe you didn't do it. Or maybe Connie doesn't want you to know because she's got some other secret? I don't... Seriously, you never discussed any of this with your shrink? No. Why would I? She confessed. Yeah. That's another thing. Connie, an alter, who deliberately set out to ruin your entire life, confesses to something so atrocious and you just believe her. All right. Fine, Todd. If she didn't do it, who did? You want to carry around a load of unnecessary guilt and remorse? Be my guest. But here's the thing. Everybody lies. Even an altar. Maybe Connie had a reason to lie to you. Fine. If Connie didn't shoot out Anthony's tires, who did? You tell anybody that I'm the reason Colin Hope is dead, and I will tell the world that Sam's baby is alive and well and living in Landview. I have no idea. How would I know? You're the one with the mob connections. Maybe one of them wanted Anthony Mr. Manning, to... my alter has confessed to the crime. I have taken responsibility. And if you have any desire to work with me in the future, you need to accept that. Just like I have. Fine. But from now on, I only talk to women with one personality. Okay. Okay. Mr. Wall? This is nothing. You sure? You seem a little distracted. 
Forget it, Johnny. I have to see Olivia. 